this is Jessica. Um, you reached out to us about your ADU project you're looking to tackle. I may have already talked to you or I will talk to you. And just wanted to give you the rundown um, of, of how the process works in general and how it would work with Design Everest leading you from beginning to end. So initially I wanna to talk to you about code requirements. So as of January 1st, there's new guidelines released for ADUs and ultimately to get a permit. So a high level overview is um, one, permit fees are cheaper. Two, cities and or counties are technically supposed to approve your plans within 60 days. Uh, less parking restrictions, more properties are able to build ADUs that couldn't before. Um, so ultimately that just means a lot less red tape, which aids you uh, in being able to afford diving into this project making it more attainable for you so that you don't feel defeated before you even get the design plans off the ground. So, and that's where Design Everest comes into play. So typically the three main things that you need for city submittal and approval for your ADU project are design plans, structural plans, and Title 24. We do that all for you as a part of our company. We guide you from beginning to end. We ultimately wanna get you a permit and have success during construction. So the first step with design, we wanna take what you want, what's code compliant, what's cost effective, and we wanna dial in a, a schematic design. That is something that you get to review and revise to get to what you want, which is all of our goals. Take what you want, what makes design sense, what's code sense, and come up with something that you're happy with, whether you wanna rent it or use it for family or use it for your kids or whatever. It's a multi-purpose structure that you can use for anything that you want in those, those realms. Um, or you just wanna add value to your property or whatnot. So once that design schematic is solidified with our designer, we will take that to permit level. Typically that includes typical sheets like your site plan, floor plan, sections, elevations, detail sheets, all that great mumbo jumbo the planning department wants to see. Secondarily to that, we now need structural plans. How is the structure gonna be built? You can't just take dimensional design plans and build something, you need corresponding structural plans to support that as well. So typically your structural plans are your foundation framing, floor framing, roof framing. With roof framing, it can be one of two options. Stick frame, which is, means a contractor builds a roof on site with material, or you can do pre-manufactured roof trusses where a company engineers and designs those off site and brings them built to the location and cranes them on top of the structure. So we'll support you with the structural plans on ultimately how that will be done and built and your design plans and your structural plans go hand in hand and support one another. They can't be done without each other. Uh, the last thing that's going to be required is Title 24, which are energy standards. So anytime you build a new structure, do an addition, do an exterior remodel, the state wants to make sure with the types of doors, windows, insulate, HVAC, cooling, heating that you may put in that space meets a bare minimum energy standard. It's all complied off of the design plans and ultimately takes usually one or two days to get done. We'll tell you, you know, here are the specifications. Are you good with this? We can revise and change if needed. Otherwise, we'll certify that. That whole uh, Title 24 will get attached to the design package. So at the end of the day from us, you have your design and your Title 24. Then you have your structural plans. Both of those get submitted to the city and or county. They will review, um, they'll provide comments and Design Everest always addresses those city comments. That's on us, that's not on you. Typically we don't do the physical submittal, um, but we address the comments, which is really most important because that's what's gonna get you a permit, not the drop off pickup. Um, once that permit is in hand, whoever you hire as your contractor will support them as well because they're basing their work off the plans that we've produced. So we need to be there just in case anything arises. And so we have a uh, construction support number, you know, an RFI form, call or email, 
and we want to be really responsive on addressing any any comments because we want you to get this built so in end from us we're there from initial design development all the way through permitting all the way until that last nails in the wall so what you're going to get with design everest is a team that's supportive and is going to guide you from each step um, not leaving you hanging because we're the experts and we're going to help you be an expert as well um, but we're going to guide you so you don't feel like it's just everything's on your shoulders managing it we're going to help manage that with one of our project managers one designer one engineer one person that's going to do title 24. let us help you through that so you can have a successful project a cost effective project um, a code compliant project so you can get that permit you can afford the construction run into a lot less issues because we took the right amount of time to do a great set of plans that we were thorough and thoughtful about. Um, and that's how we want to take care of you. So if that's something that you're interested in doing so, let's chat. Um, we can find a time to connect anytime. Uh, my number is 650-265-2822. Um, Email is jessica at designeverest.com. And then we also have our info at designeverest.com as well. And that just goes to our general um, area where there's uh, other CSMs like myself that can help support you through that process. Super exciting, time to invest, it's safe, let's get after it, um, and let's get you an ADU. Thank you.